August is National Coffee Month, and if you notice the explosion of new coffee shops that have opened up all over Reno Sparks, well, John Potter reports from the center of Reno's coffee world with news of a month-long event that shines the spotlight on all of them for what they do best. You can't go home again, but you can bring a piece of home with you and build a business with it. That's what Kevin Stamps is doing. Growing up in Trekkie, it was all about the experience. It was about sitting, enjoying your cup of coffee. Kevin opened Old World Coffee in what just a couple of months ago was a shoe store. I just wanted to sit in. I wanted to drink all my favorite coffees. Um, and so I was like, hey, you know what? Why don't we just start it here in Reno? Yes, sir. A crosstown coffee bar opened a couple of years ago with a different incentive. Our owner, Greg, was incredibly inspired by the shops that are on every single corner in Italy. And they are certainly not alone. Reno Sparks has never had so many coffee shops. Go on Yelp, you'll see over a hundred of different types. It seems the more diversified our culture gets and the more people want to put their spin on coffee, the more the cup of joe isn't the same anymore. It used to be okay to kind of pop into 7-Eleven, grab your morning cup, but nowadays people want a little bit more. There are signs of Reno's new coffee culture everywhere. I think I'm gonna do the bigger vanilla. Glasses. From the latest digital espresso machine. And then we have our the bars of pressure. Kevin says his is the first one in Nevada. We are all about just getting to the geeky side of, of coffee. To the hearts made with foam cream on top. Whether it's a swan or a heart, or I've seen teddy bears and cowboys. <laughs> None of it reminiscent of your dad's favorite coffee shop. Kevin's angle is using more than one roaster for nine different coffees. So kind of introducing Reno to um, different coffees that they're not used to. At Coffee Bar, Nikki touts the beer and wine alongside the mochas and macchiatos and the old style espresso machine. Absolutely, our espresso machine is imported from Italy. It's a La Marzocco. From lattes and mochas to single origin espressos and other things from local roasters there's a lot going on all for the tasting in the biggest little coffee city in the world covering money watch john potter channel 2 news mm, they are all so good in fact our coffee community is celebrating with yelp's coffee culture a month filled with discounts and special classes taught by local coffee experts you can find out about all of the events and deals being offered on our website just click the news links button at ktvn.com